present day police killing of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Mario Woods, Jessica Williams have a deep history. The Hunters Point Uprising of 1966 was in response to the police killing of Matthew Johnson, an unarmed 16-year-old black youth who was shot in the back of the head. The community, already dealing with extreme poverty and high unemployment, racism and discrimination, exploded. When a large angry crowd of several hundred gathered, you started blocking traffic, throwing rocks, and Molotov cocktails. An intense shootout with the police resulted in the Bayview Community Center being shot up with youth inside. That further inflamed the crowd. For days, the angry crowd started fires, damaged property, smashed windows, and started looting. Snipers started shooting, and several people were hit, including police. The police, unable to suppress the resistance, issued a curfew, called in 1,200 National Guard troops to invade Hunters Point. 1,300 troops on standby and 2,000 more troops on the way. The National Guard troops were given shoot to kill orders. Following the police killing of Matthew Johnson, the Hunters Point uprising, rebellion, riots lasted six days. There were 457 arrests, 161 people injured, including 58 police officers, and 10 people shot. The Watts riots, the Detroit riots, the Chicago riots are all symptoms of social tragedies and communities' response to American history of oppression, racism, and violence that not only happened in San Francisco, but in all major cities in this country where there's no justice, there's no peace.